It's like no one knows how to live. How to live a life. <laughs> it's just life living a life. No one separate living a life. No one separate you know how to live life. <laughs> There's just living happening apparently and no one living no one having a life no one knowing how to live no one knows how to play this drum <laughs> and no need no need to know no need for anything It's so windy and stormy today. I'm ready to go for a running, but but uh, yeah, <laughs> wanting to do quickly some video, some talks. How random and chaotic this is. What seems to be ordered, organized, planned, fixed, solid. It's illusion. <clears throat> it's chaos, anarchy, unraveling. No one knows what this is. This is the end of seeking, the end of nowhere, the end of knowing, the end of suffering, the end of searching, the end of need, the end of um, death. The end of fear of death. When this illusion of being someone real, like, like, like here in in Nera story was that I am me, I am this body, I am this body, I am inside this body, and this is. the center of universe no matter which direction looking it's infinity <laughs> from this standpoint So, I guess, I don't know, it may happen in many bodies that that feeling somebody feels so solid and real, being someone inside the body Hey, I am here. Can't you see me? <laughs> like the the me, this illusion needs constant reflection, uh, constant confirmation that I am here. I'm living. I'm existing. And uh, when it doesn't uh, get this, then it can get frustrated or it can um, get relaxed also, what happens often in, in the meetings of radical non meetings. When this so-called me, <laughs> which is illusion, 
this so-called sufferer is not uh, noticed, is not seen, is not acknowledged. Yeah, for you. <sighs> no. Yeah, and, and for some bodies it can um, cause the relaxation, so to, so to speak. Whatever, however it appears, doesn't matter. There's no choice, that's just what's happening. This perfection unfolding. And, uh, and yeah, the, the individual, the sufferer, the seeker can't understand how this is liberation already or how, how this can be enlightenment or freedom. But I'm, not, I'm still here. I'm still existing. I'm still fucking suffering. How this can be unconditional love. What the hell? <laughs> how this can be it. But there isn't anything else. There's just this. There's no one inside the body suffering. There's no choice. You're not doing it. Who is doing it when there is no one? When this illusion of separation collapses, boom! <laughs> then there is no one. Then, ha then there have never been anyone in anywhere. So all the story of poor me, I'm the victim, I have suffered so many years, seek this blah 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 it all blows out from the window <laughs> it doesn't mean that these old conditionings that this body the cells are remembering so to speak and uh, can be triggered and and played out still uh, yeah it's empty it's empty play then Nothing happens with me, whatever the body is reacting is just empty, emptiness, um, yeah, reacting to emptiness. <laughs> yeah, there is no personal liberation. There is no personal enlightenment. There is no personal freedom. Where there can be someone who got free, someone who got liberated, someone who woke up. It can happen only inside the dream of duality. Where there is still feeling of being someone who got something free, liberated, enlightened. What is shared here is the end of that, that need, that want, that is constantly saying that this isn't it, I'm not there yet, it can't be it. I'm still here and but I want it I want to be free I want to be free from the suffering I'm so exhausted of this <laughs> this dream of separation this dream of I am which need constant effort and work to maintain this this illusion and uh, no one's doing it, but it is apparently exhausting. Uh, constant self-reflection, uh, how, um, how I am seen, how I am perceived, have I been good enough, well enough, perfect enough. Did I do enough? Did I do something wrong? Could I do something differently? Could I change? I don't know, my behavior, my reactions to better. Like constantly self 
Preferential. When you're coming to the meeting with Vera, it can be a disappointment because there is um, this dream of being someone is not acknowledged, is not seen, that there is really someone who is suffering. Don't get me wrong, of course. I see how the dream is playing out, I see how suffering it can be this experience of being someone because as in a nighttime dream it feels uh, real, there is real fear, there is real sweat, uh, sweating happening and so on but it's still a dream <laughs> and um, yeah so when this doesn't acknowledge your suffering um, yeah, giving any comfort giving any hope not giving any hope not giving any comfort not acknowledging that there is someone who needs to be helped or who this one can help. And uh, of course lots of people who are coming to this meeting and, and maybe not so, uh, don't know exactly um, what they shared um, and and wanting something to that this meeting will help something it can be disappointing and it can be only one time meeting and and then looking from other places where there is feeded uh, the illusion the feeded this dream that uh, yeah for you uh, I know how to help you, I know how to improve your life, I know what you can do, I can give you suggestions how to improve your life, um, what to do and, and so on. You can't get that kind of suggestions from Mera. Yeah. But of course you can't do anything when uh, when there is this um, playing out, this uh, uh, hoping that Ere can do something or Ere can pick something or change something or when talking with Ere it changes something, it um, brings me closer or, um, or helps me. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's all empty. There is already no one to help. There is uh, there is only boundless aliveness already. Already no separation to uh, to fix to uh, to bound or I don't know the word in English. <laughs> Can't remember. Hmm. 
who have talked with her, I know that uh, here is always passion and love talking uh, when talking about this happens. So love to share this to these videos apparently. Love to share this non-message, this freedom, liberation, which is already and no one who could get free because all there is is freedom unconditionally. You are free already and there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. There is no distance or breach to overcome. There are no steps. There are so many places, most of the places where you can go and get directions and steps and uh, so on. If this is your cup of tea, then perfect. <laughs> perfect, no choice. But sometimes this, this seeking is, is so exhausting and is waiting the final end or collapse. And it's so frightening also because it's the end of the seeker. It's the end of known. It's the end of me and my life. And what's left then? If I'm not there managing and controlling my life, how my life is going to be then? <laughs> but maybe you already are not managing your life you're not there controlling there is no controller you are already not doing anything so what changes nothing illusion means it's not real so when this apparent dream of being someone collapses um, there is no dream even There is no illusion even. Only in response of um, with someone speaking uh, about this, using these terms about uh, illusion and, and dream and, and story and so on. But of course, when the illusion collapses, there is no illusion. Illusion means not happening. <laughs> Not really happening. And what wasn't really happening seemingly stopped happening. And it can't be understood, of course. Impossible. Vision impossible. Or you can understand this intellectually, more or less. It doesn't matter. What is shared here is unknown, can't be, can't be known. The nowhere is illusion. The nowhere is a dream. But knowing gives some solidity, some certainty. Yeah, safety, this illusion of knowing, there is no knowing. This is unconditional, uh, unknowable wonder. <laughs> And it can be seen only when the seer is no more. 
when there is no one looking. It can be heard when there's no one listening. It can, yeah, felt, it can be felt when there is no one who is feeling, when there is no experiencer, no separator, no divider. No nowhere. Yeah, there's no distance, there's no gap between just this boundless aliveness. No here and there. Like this is already home, there's no path to home. You haven't never left home, you can't arrive. And uh, when it's seen by no one that this is home, all there is is home. It's also the funeral of that one who was looking for this final home where it can rest in peace. Which happens apparently sooner or later in everybody's. This peace that can't be understood, that passes all understandings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for a running, but it's so windy and so chilly today, but here is some energy to do, to move a little bit. Yeah. Love it. And uh, one thing more I wanted to say. <laughs> I said that I lo love it. It doesn't matter, even if it's not loving, whatever is still love, unconditional. Everything is it. No feelings, no emotions uh, excluded. Full on, all colors of rainbow, everything is what this as is this there's no anything else there's just this only this and this can appear whatever trauma drama mm. life full on and I'm loving it. <laughs>